The following video showcases the views and opinions of young adults from the age group of 9 to 18 years. This is an attempt to get students to speak about issues that are close to their heart. Watch and get a glimpse of what the future of India is thinking and where is India's youth headed. Viewers are requested to consider the student's age before judging and voting. Imagine a world without science and technology, with no mobiles, no televisions, no electricity. How empty would this world seem? Science and technology are like gifts from nature to mankind. It is impossible, at least for our generation, to spend a single day without science. Myself, Jigisha Kshirsagar, and today I am here to share about my talk, whether science and technology is a boon or bane to us. We live in the era of modernism and technology. And as I said before, science is today involved so much in our daily life that it is impossible even to spend a single day without science. We use many electronic gadgets like we use watches to check time, mobiles and televisions for our entertainment to get news and such many more purposes. And I have noticed that right from getting up in the morning up till hitting a bed at night, we use many electronic gadgets and are, we are completely dependent on them. But as a coin has two sides, science and technology also has a darker side. In this world of science and technology, mobile games, video games, computer games are disturbing our psychological behavior and making us addicted towards them. Once I asked my friend, what is the use of such technology if we are going to be surrounded by heartless robots in the future? Do you know what she answered? She said that what is the need of a heart if we are going to have a super duper cool intelligent brain to run on our demands? This technology has made us so selfish that we all want robots like Sophia and Chitty, but we don't even realize that they just have a brain, not a heart. Technology can have intelligence but not emotions. As Neil Armstrong said, a small step for man, a giant leap for mankind. A small step of man in technology has in time become a giant leap for mankind. But does anyone really know where this small step is taking us to? Science and technology is used for making destructive weapons such as guns, bombs, rifles. What would be the use of such technology if the destruction of Iraq or Afghanistan was seen once again? Or like the attack in Pulwama was seen once again. At last, I would like to say that the science for today is the technology for tomorrow. But if you don't use it properly today, your tomorrow from anyone you cannot borrow. Thank you for listening. Hope you liked my talk. Please do vote and like for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe.